So yeah, my uh, bank was getting pretty low on overload, so I decided to buy some torstools. Um, currently I'm making overloads right now, I bought like 300 torstools, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd record this because, um, yeah, torstools cost a hell of a lot, they're like 30k each, and uh, all the supplies that I needed for making 300 overloads cost me like um, 15 mil, uh, so that's quite insane, you know, I'm not normally the person that would just go out and spend that much, but I just, just decided to do it because um, you know I'd use overloads quite a lot now as I've started doing PVM a lot more frequently um, so if I go into my potions tab you guys know that I've had like loads of extreme attacks I've nearly got 20k extreme attacks right there um, so you know they're not a worry for me um, I don't need to make them ever again um, unless I do make you know 20k overloads which I doubt doubt I'd make that much but um it's just the others that I need to uh needed to stock up on it's the extreme magics which I um had to make by uh grinding mud runes I got some left over there um we got extreme ranging pots which are made by uh grand wall spikes plus uh ranging normal ranging pots you know these are quite expensive so you know they're all uh, expensive to make we got extreme attempt uh defense um <laughs> They require, I think it's Lantadime and the Super Defense Pot. They're not too expensive, but um, you know, Lantadime are still, you know, quite high up there. And then finally, we got Extreme Strength, which is um, Dwarf Weed and a normal Super Strength Pot. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying uh, that you can only make four an invent. This is how I make them. I just take out four of each. Um, you know, you have to do a lot of clicking. Uh, but I've got this scroll which sometimes saves a herb, so hopefully I could be able to show you that. Um, not that invent. Uh, but yeah, this scroll, I think it's like a 10% chance of saving a herb or, or something like that. I don't know exactly, uh, so don't quote me on that. But um, it's really helpful, especially for you know making overloads, because saving one herb you know, by just making, say, extreme attacks ain't really going to save you much. But with overloads, when each herb is like 30k, saving one is like awesome. So... Um, yeah, hopefully this invent I can show you it. I'm not too sure. Come on, there we go. Okay, so as you saw there, I saved a torstool, and if I price check that, it is 32k. So um, you know, I saved a bit of bank right there. Uh, so yeah, that is awesome. Uh, I just thought I'd record that because um, yeah, it's just going to be put into my vlog because this is one of the main things I do whilst I play RuneScape. Alright then guys, so I've finished making all of my overloads now and uh, all I'm doing now is decanting them so uh, they go into four doses and uh, once I've done that I'll be able to show you how many I actually got in the end. Um, I will be making some of them into flasks as uh, that's usually what I use now um, but uh, I will keep some um, just in case you know I just need to have a four dose for some reason. Uh, but there we go, so I've decanted them all, and in total I got 212 overloads. Um, I did actually have 40 torstals left over once I finished making all of them, because I uh, was running low on extreme ranging, and uh, I decided just to sell them in the GE, and um, yeah, as you saw there, I sold 40 of them, got 1.2 mil back, um, and if I go to my exchange, I have an arcane spirit shield, I'm trying to buy it right now because I have enough, um, should be able to get a nice uh, amount of profit from this if it buys. Um, but uh, yeah, 212 overloads, I now will have to put them into flasks, um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do now. I might make some prayer renewals too, um, you know, prayer renewal flasks, I have quite a few potions, um, but yeah, I still need to make some of them. Um, I've got quite a few super restores in, in the vials, but um, again, I need some in the flasks, and then same with the sourdome and brews, I've got quite a few in the, the vials. Um, still still a lot in the the flask too but um you know I was, I'm going to aim for at least 100 in each so um you know that's a nice amount um as you can see down there I've got loads and loads of prayer pots um I bought them when these are really cheap if I actually take them out now I can see how much they are and uh, see if I've made anything um 3.2k so yeah I bought them for 2.2k so I did uh, save a bit of cash there, um, but I'm not going to sell them because I need them. And uh, in total that is 15 mil pretty much. Um, so yeah, it's all looking good. So I'm going to now put these into flasks and um, yeah. Okay, so my friend Max told me how to um, actually put vials into flasks. Cause I've actually never done it um, this way that he told me before. I've done it manually um, where I just, you know, 
use the overload on the flask but um this guy in Ooglog um he can do it for you and it's meant to be a lot faster so um he just said to note the potion flasks and um you know bring out the overloads and I guess I just gotta decant potions to flasks is this gonna work let's see um you need to supply the empty flask yourself they're not cheap okay there you go so um that's awesome well wow, that is really fast um <laughs> As you see, as you saw there, he just um, took out the potion flasks from the note and put them straight into the overloads, um, overload flasks, and I got some vials back as well. Um, someone actually gave me a load of vials as a small donation. They gave me like 100k of them, um, but it, they're really cheap. They're only like 2 GP, so it was like 200k for the 100k of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to be making these into flasks now, and I can actually make a load of them really fast, which is awesome. Uh, so there we go. Right then guys, so um, as many of you know, I decided to do a long term march on sharks. In my bank video, I had around 200k, and uh, yesterday Jagex actually announced that they're going to be doing a bot nuke pretty soon, so I decided to buy another 50k more, and uh, yeah, here they are in my invent, so in total I've got 250k sharks, and I just wanted to record this just to show you guys how much it is now, and how much they're going to be after you know the bot nukes happened and everything. So, as you can see, it's 147.7 mil, uh, so a lot of money um, I put into this, you know, I haven't really got much money spare. I've got 22 mil. I'm gonna have to make a little bit more to um, <laughs> be able to do my 10 mil to 100 mil series. Uh, I'm sure I'll be able to get that fast. So, but um, yeah, so 147.7 mil. I'm hoping for these to actually double in price or go to around 1k. So I should be able to make you know close to 150 mil profit on these, which would be uh, insane. Uh, that means I'd be able to buy a few things which I would never have been able to before, such as Torva and uh, maybe even a Divine if I don't get the Torva. I could save up for a little bit more and get that. But um, yeah, so 147.7 mil, pretty awesome. The date right now is the 30th of August, so you know the bot nuke isn't actually out yet, but um, you know the prices of the sharks and all other raw materials will start going up. So um, you know, hopefully they will go to 1k, and uh, yeah, I'll be able to make some bank.